What's up, YouTubers? It's Betcher, and today I want to talk about the thought of a Superman game. You know, this thought just came to mind, and and you know, I do these videos when I get a certain thought in mind, and I like I want to talk about it. And this is not like a topic that hasn't been talked about before. It's been talked about a lot. The idea of a Superman game. Some people think it's not possible. Some people think it is possible. It's 50 50 for me personally. I feel like I see both sides of the argument, honestly. I see that yes, Superman game can be possible. You know, you're just gonna have to <laughs> reduce Superman's powers by like a lot. Superman as a character as a whole is a broken character, and we can all admit that. Like, he's broken. Like, this, the man gets stronger by literally just being under the sun. There's no way you can make a game with a character like that or a person like that who just constantly gets stronger as they just get closer to the sun or just staying under the sun in general. And they can pretty much take out most heroes in the DC universe. Like Superman is a pretty broken OP character. But that was that idea in itself seems like such a fun idea to play with. You know, that seems like a fun way to do different ideas and different villains you can bring into the game like maybe you can possibly do somebody like Brainiac or even Lobo. Being able to fight in a Superman game, playing as Superman and going against somebody like Lobo will probably be insane. <laughs> and it's not to say that games these days definitely couldn't handle something like that because there's no doubt in my mind that a Superman game could definitely be made. It's just more of a balanced sort of situation because for a game, you have to start from somewhere. You can't just start the game off being an OP, but that's the problem with Superman. You can't do nothing to Superman to make him not OP unless you try to like give him like, say he got like kryptonite poison from the beginning of the game. You gotta like reduce the kryptonite poison as you go through the game, and then by the end of the game, you're back at full power. That that could seem like something that could work, but Superman is scary. You can't play as Superman in a Superman game and then start off with his base strength. His base strength basically already pretty much wipes at the floor of everyone uh he just he just overpowered like that but because of that like i said before superman can do a lot of things going to space he can fly at light speeds it's ridiculous with the man it's nothing that the man can't do all right i do now nowhere near read any comments about superman i've seen a couple of videos about some of superman's feats i've seen some videos about some of the greatest things superman can do and they are insane I got a newfound respect for Superman just knowing the things he can do and uh, how much he holds back against most of his villains is just crazy because he honestly could obliterate most of his villains with just one punch. I mean, people like Metallo, yeah, Metallo has a hard crit tonight, but if Superman really just like was tired of Metallo, bro, he really could just take that man, throw him into space, and make sure he gets lost out there and never comes back. Like, Superman can just be like. Just like, look, look at this, look at this, look at this man, look at his speeds coming in, like, he's really holding back, because look at that, boom, he coming in, like, and that's the only his top speed, I know he can go faster than that, he could easily just obliterate Lex Luthor, right, and he's still holding back, Superman's always holding back, you know, and for that, I respect Superman a lot for that, you know, there's not villains and stuff like that, they can take it, look at Black Adam, look how strong Black Adam is, but to Superman, when he's not playing no more, that's nothing, it has nothing to Superman. But like I said before, let's not get too far off topic. Uh, about the Superman game, you know, I would love to see... Uh, I would just love to see them, like, you know, maybe try to play with the concept, all right? I see Warner Brothers is D trying to explore two different games. You know, as we got Gotham Knights, Wonder Woman's getting her own game. Wonder Woman can get her own game? Like, I don't see why not Superman can't get his own game, all right? I mean, and the crazy thing is Batman's my favorite DC character, and behind him is probably going to be, I say Green Lantern. And no, no, not Green Lantern, Flash. Flash is my second. Third is probably my, third or fourth my green, uh, is Green Lantern. But regardless of that, it's crazy, like, <laughs> Superman game, can y'all guys just imagine what you can do as Superman and Superman game? I don't know, I don't know how you would balance that. Like, letting the player, you know, make sure the player is not too overpowered. And giving you know player something to work towards, but being Superman in a Superman game just seems like a really fun game to play. Maybe it's to some it may seem boring because, like I said before, some people find Superman as a boring character overall because, well, he's pretty much can do anything. <laughs> Not many people who can really stop Superman unless you throw some kryptonite at him, then you're a winner. Then, but other than that, I mean, what can you do against the Man of Steel, the Man of Tomorrow? 
But with that being said, so tell me that comes with your blow and what your thoughts on the Superman game? And if you were to see a Superman game come out, what how would you balance a Superman game? How would you make a Superman game? How would you go about it? Tell me what that comes with your blow. Like if you like the video, dislike this like the video. I'm Spectro and I can't wait to see you next time. See ya.